Publicity. Uh, publicity. Well, in this case, it's what Todd could use to make other people think that he is not so bad and that he shouldn't be punished anymore. And if that happens, well, a lot of people could be hurt. You guys right. And I'm one of those people. I had a junior once. You did? Mm-hmm, when I was just about your age. He um, used to clean the pool at my parents' house. I, I didn't really call him a genie. I called him Sam. But he was one person that I could always talk to. One person who treated me like I wasn't a kid. Just like Ollie. Yeah, just like Ollie. But you see, I understand why you want to help him. He saved us. And you too, Marty. She knows that, CJ. Yeah, I, I know that, CJ. And he, he saved Jessica too. I told Todd that I was grateful. I didn't really want to, but someone, someone convinced me that it was the right thing to do. So you like our TV too? No, I don't. Because he's, he's not a very nice man. He's, he's all mixed up. And, um, see, that's why he hurt me. And he, and he hurt my friend Swade and Luna and Nora, a lot of other people. I know prison isn't a very nice place, but it's where he belongs. <laughs> so I want you to try. Well, I, I need you to stop trying to get him released to Sarah. Todd hurt me, and, and he hurt my friend Swade, and he hurt Nora and Luna and, and a whole lot of other people. And I know prison isn't a very nice place, but it's where he belongs. I want you to stop trying to get him released. But we're his friends, Marty. I know, and he's lucky to have you, but... Well, I'm your friend too, aren't I? And you wouldn't want to do anything to hurt me now, would you? No, of course you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't want to do that at all. So listen, um, why don't we strike a deal here, kids? Why don't you tell Marty that you will at least consider the possibility of dropping this whole petition idea? No, Daddy. No, we're not going to forget about you. Todd Manning campaign has legs. <laughs> legs, huh? You're sounding like those sound bites on TV. Hank, the DA is an elective office. We're supposed to appeal to the public, and if there's an outcry for justice... Two kids circulating a petition is not exactly an outcry, Kate. Well, it will be when the spin doctors get through with it. Have you been reading the papers? This story has everything. Todd Manning, football hero, goes bad. He rapes a beautiful co-ed. End of story? No. Just the beginning. One year later, he saves her life. And two kids. And a policeman. It's a PR man's dream. And it really happened. I feel that it's a little bit like what we mm -hmm. learn in Sunday school. How everybody gets a chance to, to change and to start with a clean slate, right? Like Todd? It's not that simple, CJ. But Daddy, Todd needs our help. Yeah, and he's got nobody else to help him. All right, kids, look, Daddy's trying to be very understanding here, but sometimes he's got to put his foot down. So for right now, I, I don't want to talk about Todd or this petition anymore tonight. But believe me, we will talk about it tomorrow. In the meantime, I thought we came out to have some fun tonight, right? Right. How about some music, okay? I'll spring for it, and you guys yeah. pick, you pick the tune, okay? There we go. Yeah. One for you and one Silver for you. Ass, Jason, I bet you help you pick something up. Wait, scoot. I'll be with you in two minutes. Oh, hey. Sorry. It's okay. I think Andrew's right. They're only doing what you taught them to do. <clears throat> Be kind and forgiving when it comes to Todd. Yes, but Marty, you yourself had a, had a, a need to thank him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I've forgotten what he's done. And if, if some children's crusade tries to get him released from prison... Wait, 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 wait. This is one crusade that's going to stop before it ever got started, okay? Hey, Court. Court. Looks like your kids are celebrities over here. Oh, uh, what? You mean this newspaper thing? No, no. I'm talking about this right here. So how long have you been friends with the genie? Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? What are you doing to my kids? Oh, you must be Court Roberts. Lance Arrigo, Pennsylvania people. You didn't answer my question. What do you want with my kids? Well, the whole town wants them, Mr. Roberts. The whole country, in fact. I'm willing to pay five figures for the exclusive rights to this story. What do you say? I say you and your crew get out of here. I'm going to take that camera. Oh, and ship oh, the that's uh, Marty Sabra, the rape victim. This is getting better by the minute. Marty, let me ask you a question. 
Can, uh, how do you feel about the children of land? Look, hey, hey, Todd hey, Manny? Just, please, leave us alone. Turn Come on, Marty, Marty, everybody's dying to know. I mean, the kids can believe him, can you? Can you picture him out of prison and back on the streets? No, we're not going anywhere. These guys are. Let's go. Oh, oh. Yeah, unless you want to eat that microphone. It's okay. It's okay. Move. I'm leaving. Come on, but this story won't go away. You should be proud of those kids. Right. Yeah, they're standing up for everything this country's about. Good. Good. Justice and love. You getting there? Uh, move, yeah. move, okay. move. Fine. It's not over yet. Not by the long shot. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, boy, look, Marty, I am sorry about that. Let's hope he's wrong about this public response. Well, he is wrong. I mean, you know, it's going to die down in a few few days or so. Yeah, hopefully. Listen, I'm going to take the kids home. It's getting late. And when I do, I'm going to call the banner. I'm going to call every other press contact I've got and find out what exactly is going on. Let's hope that Lance is wrong about this. All right. Yeah. Hey, kids, how you doing? You ready to go? Come on, it's getting late. We've had enough excitement oh. for one night. Oh, yes, come on. Listen, Marty. The public's not naive, all right? They're not going to be deluded into thinking that Todd is... Come on, you okay? Uh, oh, no. No, I'm not okay. I wish this had never happened. I wish Todd had never saved me. I just want to be free of him. It's like, he's, it's like he never goes away. Even when he's in prison, he's still a part of my life. And I think he always will be. I can't explain it. I can't justify it for you. Marty. Marty, I'm sorry about that guy with the camera. Would you like a drink or something? No, I'm fine. Andrew has a way of calming me down. Yeah, yeah. I've got Look, I better get I better get you home. Hey, how much do we owe you, Jason? Oh, you don't owe me anything. It's on the house. Um, you could kind of do me a favor, though. Yeah, name it. What? Well, I just, um, I kind of like to talk to you, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a little hectic right now. Is it urgent? Or... Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't think she's going anywhere. It's about Dorian. DJ and Jessica and me. I mean, that wasn't an easy choice for you. You could have kept running. That would be the easy way. You could have kept running and just forgotten about us, but you didn't. You came back and you pulled the three of us out of the car. You saved us. Put the tourniquet around my leg. You stopped me from bleeding to death. You could have left me to die because I told you to take off, but you didn't. I, I didn't want your help. Thing. I thought, I thought that if I went to Todd and I, 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 I looked him straight in the eye and I thanked him for saving me and Jessica and CJ, that this, the poison in this wound would just drain out and then it would close up and I could heal. But this man is still haunting me. All right, look, just because you thank somebody... It doesn't mean that you forgive them for what they did the first time out. It's just weird. You know, I, I used to think that a diploma, a college diploma, was like this magic wand, and the moment you got one, poof, you got a new life. Well, here I am. I'm a graduate. <clears throat> Nothing's changed. Jason Slate's still dead, and... Todd is He's still a part of my life. I can't get rid of him. Right. You can't get rid of me either. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of you. I want you around. Todd. 
Who knows? Maybe this life after college, it's not going to be any new thing. It's probably going to be just like the old one. Pure hell.